Hello and welcome to today's Nairobi News Bulletin. My name is Mudoni Mushiri. Medical practitioners at a public facility in Diane Kwale County are on the spot over an incident in which a pregnant woman who tested HIV positive in July has now tested negative. The couple has come out to narrate their ordeal which almost tore the family apart with the wife as well as their one-year-old child who was put on ARVs suffering gross side effects. The incident raises questions on whether there could be other cases of faulty HIV test kits. Of all the things they have gone through in their 16 years of marriage, Frederick Omondi and Esther Mokazi say the past two or so months have been the hardest and the most trying. It all started with a normal prenatal checkup at the Diani Health Center on 20th July. Ilifika sasa kwa upande wa kuangalia mambo ya virusi, tulikuja tu tukaambiwa, tukaulizwa tu niataka kuwapima ukimwi mko tayari, nataka kuwapima virusi mko tayari. Tukasema ndio wale wenye tulikuwa hapo tulikuwa kama watu kumi hivi. So tukachukuliwa damu zetu zikawekwa kwa zile kit tukaandikwa majina juu tukawa tunaitwa sasa mmoja mmoja. Ilipofika wakati wangu nikaitwa nikaenda nikaambiwa majibu yako ndio haya unaona vipi. Nikamwambia ninaona line mbili. Wakaniuliza inamaanisha aje nikamwambia niko positive. Not satisfied she took a third test just to be sure. Nikakaa nje wakaniita tena nilinde niangalie majibu yangu nikapata bado niko positive. Bibi yangu ni blood group yake ni B negative. Lakini wakati alipatikana kuna ukimwi akapatikana akawekewa tena wrong blood group B positive. She was then instructed to come back to the facility the next day and also bring along her husband and their one year old son. Tulienda mtoto akapatikana kwa negative mimi nikawa negative. Akapimwa yeye akapatikana tena positive. Lakini vile walikuwa wanapima, sio vile walikuwa wamenipima mimi na mtoto. Kwa sababu kids yangu na mtoto waliweka kwa meza. Lakini ya bibi yangu aliweka kando. Akatupatia mgongo ndio baadaye akasema angalia result. Nilipoangalia nikasema ziko mbili. Mtoto wangu alipatikana negative, lakini hivi hivi akapatiwa ARVs. They say this was totally unexpected even though Frederick has another wife kukuwa kuzuri kwa nyumba kidogo kwa sababu nilitaka kujua nini imeendelea nyumba yangu sasa ikawa ilikuwa tu ni vurugike tu kabisa tulikuwa wake wawili mwenzangu akatoka miaka miwili hiyo imepita sijakuwa na mtu mwingine na we kama unaniambia hujatembea na mtu mwingine basi sijui hizi virusi umetoa wapi nilimpata akichukua dawa ya kuosha umbwa alikuwa anataka kunywa anataka kujitoa uhai but that was just the beginning of their troubles the medicine would cause problems to Esther and her son. Sasa nilikuwa sina nguvu, hata siwezi tembea. Ilifika mahali siwezi tembea kabisa. Kwa sababu nilikuwa natapika tu usiku na mchana. Alafu sasa na ile vile zilifanya mpaka nikaanza ku bleed. Hata mpaka saa hii sijui mtoto nimebeba yuko hali gani. After 2 weeks, totally react vibaya sana. Kwanza alipoteza appetite, akawa hali kabisa. Alafu tena kitu kingine zikamtoa rashes kwa mwili akatoka tu na mavidonda mpaka kwa miguu. This prompted the couple to seek further tests at the Catholic dispensary, Coast General Hospital in Mombasa and Kwale Hospital. Wakahakikisha wenyewe ndio wakasema niko negative na ile file yangu wakasema sasa wa itafungwa na ni stop hizo madawa kabisa nisitumie. The family is happy now that at least one of the things that has been troubling them, the HIV status, is out of the way. But they still have questions as to how and why it happened. In this case, it is the, the kids uh, which determine uh, uh, the, the, the concerned patient to be, to be positive. As I said, the kids usually come sealed. So they are not manufactured by the county. The 15-year-old daughter of U.S. Olympic sprinter Tyson Gay died on Sunday after being caught in the middle of a gunfight between occupants of two vehicles outside of a Kentucky restaurant. According to the shooting, at about 4 a.m. local time, Trinity Gay was taken to a private vehicle into a local hospital where she was pronounced dead. Police said they have detained two people for questioning in connection with the incident.
Independent film producers staged demonstrations against police officers of Dagoretti Corner demanding answers on the death of their colleague, who was found dead in a pub in the area last week. Just as Vincent Teller's body was found in a drinking joint on Thursday morning, with his colleague saying he had a visible head injury. The group claims Teller may have been the victim of murder and in demanding speedy investigations into the death. Emotions ran high at Riruta Police Station where colleagues, friends and family members of the late Justice Teller had marched to ask the police to speed up investigations into his death. Forget about the case We are not going away. We are living here today. They also wanted the police to acknowledge claims of the possibility of murder. They claim that the police have not been forthcoming on the circumstances that led to the death of Teller, whose body was found on Thursday at a bar in Dagoretti Corner with a head injury. The OCS is telling us that the officer Our who is handling the, the, the file is Excellency. not there. And so if that officer is. goes, dies, that file goes, dies, dies like that. We are not babies. This is our true country. And this, this man, they are hiding, they killed our brother, and we want an answer sooner than immediately. There is no OB number. There is no file yes, number. There is no case file. Nothing. He's telling us to go Nothing. to the bed. The officers have no idea. All we want is yes. justice. According to post-mortem results, Teller's death was brought about by the head injury caused by a blunt object. If they're saying this man was seated in a plastic chair in the bar and they just found him dead, what happened to his head? The demonstrators later proceeded to the bar, a frequent haunt for the deceased when he was alive. They interrogated the club owner, desperate to get answers to the cause of death of their loved one. <laughs> Colleagues and friends plan to stage further protests in the coming week to pressure the police to reveal what they term as the true cause of death of Jackie Taylor. And the High Court has suspended regulations on minor traffic offences, which were recently introduced in the Gazette. Lady Justice Rosalind Aburili ordered that the regulations that introduced instant fines stop being implemented temporarily. Amotatu Sako has moved to the court claiming that the regulations deny those in the Motatu business a right to fair trial. And finally, a candidate for position of Supreme Court judge has told the Judiciary Service Commission that people who have sex with commercial sex workers should be arrested. As it is, only prostitutes are usually targeted by the police during swoops. Lady Justice Martha Kome told the Commission on Monday that in issues of prostitution, both parties should be arrested. And that's it for us for now. For these and more stories, log on to www.nairobinews.co.ke. I'm Mudoni Mushiri. Goodbye.